Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, just wanted to update a little bit on uh, the situation of MLA 30 versus MLA 30 plus also uh, a little bit of changes that I've done so of course here you see the two bias T boxes that are for both of my MLA 30s so you see that the one on the left says MLA 30 plus the one on the right doesn't and of course, the one on the right powers my old MLA30. The uh, MLA30 Plus is on the other one. One of the things that uh, is interesting here, um, because so I got a lot of questions, of course, of you guys. First, I want to say that I came back to the power, uh, the power inserter or the bias T that came with the MLA30, uh, and removed it from the RSPDX. Because I noticed that the RSPDX bias T is noisier. And not everywhere, but on some frequencies, the bias T from the RSPDX actually induces a little more noise in the antenna. So I gone back to my good old bias T box that came with the MLA30 to power the uh, antenna again. One of the things that I did yesterday, so a lot of you are asking me questions. How do you test this? Did you change the power? Did you okay, look? I even powered the antenna with a power bank on battery. So that gives you an idea of how I tested it differently. Because I do realize absolutely, and a lot of you mentioned that, well, if it's not the same power supply, one might have more noise than the other. And yes, totally agree with that. And I, I I did that okay and like I said one of my power banks here is a, a power bank I use for my smartphone it has two USB ports that you can plug simultaneously so of course I used it uh, full day I mean these um, the antenna is taking so little power to actually function that you can use a power bank for probably for a few days without having to recharge it so uh, it's, that's kind of cool if you're on a d expedition because that means uh, you know, can bring a power bank with you and power that mla30 for a while so powered from the power supplies that i'm using powered from the battery uh there's no difference so my power supplies are quiet because uh, you don't see any difference in noise level the um, other thing also, of course, the antennas are not exactly in the same same place, meaning that I can't have two MLA30s, you know, only two inches apart. They will interact, and th that, that won't work well. They are about two feet apart, roughly, 24 inches or um, what, uh, something like 60 centimeters. And um, oriented, of course, in the same direction. Of course, it's a loop. I know it's directional. Of course, I have made the orientation exactly the same for the results that I have. And yesterday, I thought I did a mistake because I've been switching a lot of the antennas and the wires and the stuff. But uh, finally, this morning, you know, sometimes you're tired at the end of the day and it's not time to play around with the wires. So, um, you know, I went to sleep, woke up this morning, looked at the setup again and played around with the wires and all of that. And uh, no, it's okay. My my tests have been done right, and it's definitely true that the MLA thirty is much better uh, in the higher frequencies. If you tune something, so I tuned BBC seventeen six forty this morning, and um, it was much stronger, much better to receive on the MLA thirty plus than on the original MLA thirty. Everywhere that I tuned, uh, so if you look at my uh, SDR Uno software, there's a number that changes that's on the upper left when I tune around the bands or tune a signal. And it says SNR, which is signal to noise ratio. Signal to noise ratio, the higher that number, the less noise compared to the signal I'm listening to. So you want to have the highest number possible in the uh, signal to noise ratio. One of the things that's interesting is the MLA30 Plus, when I actually switch it to that one, my base, my floor noise, my base noise is higher. But think about it for a second. If it's more sensitive, 
mm, it is kind of normal that the noise is also a little higher since it's more sensitive. It's not only picking um, signals better, it's also picking a little more noise. Yet, even when that happens, the signal-to-noise ratio is better on the MLA30+, Plus, which means I get more signal than the noise. So, um, you know, and there definitely has been a change. I've been testing it in every possible way, in every method possible. Um, what I see is that the uh, MLA30+, Plus definitely performs better. They made a change in that you know, amplifier that makes it better. Um, so, you know, I'll repost the link to the antennas where I purchased the antenna on the in the description below this video again. A lot of people asking it, you know, um, I've posted it already, but I'll post it again. There is no way right now to know if you've got or will get an MLA30+. Plus. Nobody advertises an MLA30+. Plus. It's almost as if nobody noticed that it changed. <laughs> and you know what? That That's the thing. I think nobody noticed it actually changed. Um, but look, the last one that I got is an MLA30+. Plus. That said, if you've got an old MLA30, it still performs very well. But the MLA30 Plus, they did make a change. Now, some of you, because on the antenna bias T box, uh, so here we don't see it really well. But the one on the left is green, the one on the right is white. My original MLA30 is the one with a white LED. But I, um, I was asking Sheldon um, if he had checked if it was MLA 30 plus or not and he told me that it was an MLA 30 there's no plus on it but but the bias T box that he's got is a green LED so this is interesting and um, I'm wondering if there was maybe a, a subset of MLA 30s that were actually the new one but didn't change they didn't change the uh, the, they didn't add the plus sign to it. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But definitely the MLA30 Plus is a better performer. And um, I, I tried it in so many ways, so many different ways. Um, it They improved it, that's for sure. You know, there were some complaints on the MLA30. Uh, some people are saying, well, you know, above 15 megahertz, it's not as good as other antennas. Well, maybe that's what they tweaked. They tweaked the antenna to have better performance overall across the band. There's, uh, you know, I still have that about, I would say, from 2 megahertz to 12, well, 10 megahertz, 11 megahertz. That range, there's no difference. The signals, when I switch from one to the other, I see absolutely no difference. Or very little. But above 11, 12 megahertz and higher... And below 2 megahertz, there's definitely a difference. Uh, signals are stronger. And uh, that is definitely... Uh, the MLA30 Plus definitely has a, something that changed. Uh, a lot of you have been asking me to open the box and show you inside. Uh, well, they're outside and it's raining and all of that. So, of course, I'm not going to do that now. But eventually, when uh, there's a beautiful weather and all, I will... Uh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll open the boxes and show you the internals of the uh, MLA30 and 30 Plus. Um, I'm not sure we're going to see a lot because uh, there's uh, like a um, some epoxy or some, you know, the circuit board is filled with epoxy to make sure that it's kind of watertight if you want. But still, we'll see. Is there a difference? Can we see difference or spot a difference? Um, we'll see. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, look at the link in the description below the video, uh, MLA30. Uh, link is over there. 44 US dollars is what I paid for the antenna. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.